Okay, this is a tutorial on exercise number three, HTML basic tags. Okay, going down to the criteria, it says to launch Dreamweaver, create a new blank document, view split view and code view, download and copy the attached recipe. So I'll go ahead and do that first. Clicking here and I'm going to download it. Okay, I'm going to move that out of the way here, come back to that. It also says that you need to download these attached photos. That's a little bit further down, but I know that I need them, so I'm going to drag them to my desktop. So I've got those. I need to make sure that those images are in my image folder, so I'm going to open up Art116 my named or root folder, my images folder, and I'm going to drag those two images into my image folder. Then it says that you need to paste the recipe text in the Dreamweaver document in design view. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Dreamweaver. I'm going to create a new document, new document, HTML, none, and create says to paste this text in here, so I need to copy it all. So I'm going to go edit, copy. I don't need this anymore, so I'm going to close it. In design view, again, I'm in code, split, and design. I'm not in live view, but rather I'm in design view. I'm going to click right here, not in code view, but in design view, and I'm going to go edit, paste. Okay. So let's go back to the directions. Okay, I've done everything here. It says to use the title tag. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and scroll up till I find the title tag. Right now it says untitled document and I'm going to type out, maybe I will copy this text here and place that in here. Okay. So I'm using the title tag. I had to put text in here. You can also do that in your properties palette. You could put it right here in the properties palette. All right, now that I have that in here, let's take a look. Use the H1 through the H6 tag tags as noted in the attached text. Okay, so let me bring Dreamweaver back. Okay, I need the properties palette. Okay, this is saying to use the H1. So I'm going to highlight this line. This says the paragraph tag. And I'm noting that I already have the paragraph tag in here. So this is, would be a little bit redundant. The paragraph tag has already been in here. This says it needs to be the H. Two. So I'm going to scroll over that and highlight it and change it to the H2. Okay, all the ingredients need to be an unordered list. So I'm going to do unordered list right down here. Okay, directions need to be an H2. Okay, now all this text, all these directions need to be an unordered list. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight them all. Let me move my property palette out of the way so I can grab it. Okay, that needs to be an ordered list. Ordered list. Okay, down here, okay, this line needs to be in H3. Okay, let's go back to the directions. Move the property palette out of the way. Okay, then it says use the property tag. So that's already been done by kind of by default for that. Then it says here, use the emphasis tag at least once. Okay, so I will use the emphasis tag right here. Okay, I need my property palette to do that. Okay, italic is the emphasis tag. If I look over here, when I applied it, it gave me the emphasis tag. Okay. 
Now it says use the strong tag at least once. The strong tag is basically bold. So I will do bold maybe on yield. So that did the emphasis tag and strong. The tag for bold is strong. Okay. So I did number 10. I need to use a BR or break row or line break as needed. See if I need one. Okay. I may come back to that one. I don't see that I need it just yet. Going back here, use the image tag. Include the two attached cookie images in your page. Okay. Okay. I think I'll put the images right beneath this H1. So I'm going to click a return on my keyboard right after cookies and I'm going to go insert image and go to my image folder and find the cookie. The first cookie image. Okay. Now this is a warning that I haven't saved my document. Okay. So I'm going to say okay and I'm going to save the document. File. Save. And I'm going to make sure that I'm in my named folder and I'm going to call this EX2 and save. Okay. I am going to do a space after this image and I'm going to go insert image and I'm going to grab that second cookie image. Okay. Before I move on, I'm going to click on the image and I want you to note that when I insert an image, I get the IMG tag. That stands for image and it also gives me the location of where the image is. It's in my images folder, the name of the image, and I get the height and width. Okay. Okay. Back to the exercise directions. All right. So I already did the images and next I have actually already done the ordered and unordered list. I've done that already. And then it said, add the text, want to find more tasty recipes, make this text a text link. Okay. You decide the URL. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this text, edit, copy, and go back to Dreamweaver and move the property palette out of the way and scroll down. I will put it right here. So my cursor is right here and I'm going to paste. Now it's telling me that I need to make a hyperlink of it. So I'm going to find a web page. So let me open up a browser. Okay. I found this web page and I'm going to copy the web address or the URL. So I'm going to go edit, copy, no longer need this. So I'm going to minimize this window. I am going to bring over my property palette. I'm going to highlight this sentence and in the link area of the property palette, I am going to paste. Now I've created a hyperlink. Let's go back and look at the directions. Okay. It says use a HR tag to add a horizontal line somewhere in the page An HR horizontal line. So let me go ahead and do that. Maybe I'll add it mm, right after the word middle here. To add horizontal rule, you go insert HTML horizontal rule. Okay. And I can modify that. If I select it, I can decide the width and height. Maybe I'll make it 300 and I'll leave the, the width 300 and maybe I'll leave the height alone and I'm going to select it again and I'm going to change the alignment to left. Okay. I think I need to make it a little bit bigger. Maybe I'll make it 600. Okay. I'm happy with that. Back to the directions, add your own sentence at the bottom of the page and apply the H3. Okay. Okay. And at the bottom of the page, I'm going to hit the return key after the word student. I'm down here and I'm just going to type out. I love cookies. Okay. And apply the H3 to it. Okay. And coming back here, after you've applied the above tags, delete all my tag notes from the given text, fix any spacing, review the code, 
and see how it applies, then you need to create a link to this assignment from your index page and upload this assignment and your index page to the web server by the due date. Okay, so I'm going to delete the extra code in here. I don't need kind of these code hints. I'm going to get rid of the H1 here, close this guy, get rid of that paragraph, get rid of this text, get rid of this. I actually don't need this either. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of this, this tag. So I'm going to hit the delete key. Put my cursor is before the word preheat, and I'm just going to hit the delete key. And I also don't need the H3 right here. Okay, so what you're going to want to do at this point is look at the code and start to get familiar with the code. The last part of the directions is to make a link off your index page to this file and upload both to the server. Server, I am going to save. I am going to open up my index page. Okay, my index page is open. And what I'm going to do is create a link to this file. I'm going to highlight this line of text. I can either type the name of this file right here, or even better, I'm going to browse to the file so I don't have to type it. I'm going to click on the folder icon. I'm going to select exercise three and open it. It basically just puts this, the name here for me. I've got a hyperlink. Now I need to upload both of these pages to the Infinity Server. To do that, I'm going to go Window, Files. Okay. When this window opens up, I'm going to split it in half by clicking on this icon. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and click here to connect to the server. It's taking just a minute. Okay. I'm going to flip the htdocs folder open. I'm going to grab my exercise 3 and place it on top of the htdocs folder and say yes. This is basically saying Dreamweaver is going to take the images with and place them in my images folder or even bring the image folder if that be the case. I'm going to say yes. Okay. Now I'm going to grab my index page again because I had made a change to it. I'm going to replace the old one on the server and say yes to all and yes. Next thing I'm going to do is go to my web page. So I'm going to open up a new tab here. I'm going to go to my bookmark for my web page, which is right here. Okay. There's the link I'm going to click, and there we go. So that is how to do exercise number three.